Ever wonder why a cat never picks a fight with a porcupine? Same reason a man should never argue with a random woman. Now, don't get me wrong, I ain't saying all women are prickly like porcupines, but hear me out. You see, diving headfirst into a verbal spar with a lady you barely know is like playing Russian roulette with a full chamber. One wrong word, one misguided joke, and boom. You've stepped on a landmine, and the fallout ain't pretty. Think about it, you're at a party, you make a casual comment about the music, and next thing you know, you're in a heated debate about the socioeconomic implications of hip-hop culture. You thought you were discussing Jay-Z, but now you're defending your views on capitalism. It's like trying to navigate through a maze blindfolded. You're bound to hit a wall or two, or three. Just as you wouldn't jump into a pool full of piranhas, don't dive into an argument with a woman you don't know. It's a battlefield, my friend. Ever been on a roller coaster? It's thrilling, right? Now, imagine that roller coaster is on fire. That's what arguing with a random woman feels like. You see, my friend, women are emotional Picassos, painting a masterpiece of feelings with every word they utter. Men, on the other hand, we're more like cavemen trying to finger paint with a box of Crayolas, the 8-pack, not even the 64 one with the sharpener, in the back. We're just not equipped for the emotional nuances. Each argument with a woman is like stepping into a labyrinth of emotions, where every turn could lead to a dead end or a minotaur one minute you're talking about why you didn't take out the trash, and the next you're being accused of not appreciating her mother's cooking at Thanksgiving three years ago. You're left standing there, mouth agape, wondering how in the world you ended up here. It's like being in a boxing ring with an invisible opponent. You can't see the punches coming, but oh boy, can you feel them. One moment you're bobbing and weaving, thinking you're doing pretty well, and then wham, you're hit with a jab of tears, a right hook of guilt, and an uppercut of silent treatment. You know those movies where the hero has to disarm a bomb and he's got to choose between the red wire and the blue wire? That's you trying to figure out whether to apologize or defend your point. And let's be real, there's no manual for this bomb and the countdown clock is always at one second. So you see, arguing with a woman is like navigating a minefield while blindfolded, riding a unicycle and juggling chainsaws. It's a high risk, no reward situation. You're not going to win, my friend. You're just going to end up with a headache and an apology to make. So next time you think about arguing with a woman, remember the flaming roller coaster. Trust me, you don't want that ride. You know how in basketball you don't guard the other team's player? That's how it should be when it comes to arguing with a woman who's not yours. Picture this. You're at your local hoop shooting some b-ball and this guy from the other team starts guarding you. That's a no-go, right? Same rules apply in the real world. When you see a woman in a heated conversation and she ain't your woman, you don't wade into that mess. You let her man handle his business. It's like trying to referee a game you ain't playing in. You're not the one on the court, so why yeah, you call in fouls? You see, it's all about understanding and respecting the dynamics of the relationship. You wouldn't want some random dude stepping into your arguments, would you? No, I didn't think so. Let's break it down with some real-life examples. Remember when Jay-Z and Solange had that elevator incident? Now imagine if some random guy had stepped in trying to break it up. Man, he would have ended up on the wrong side of Solange's purse, and Jay-Z's bodyguards would have had a field day. Or how about that time when Cardi B and Nicki Minaj had their little spat at the Fashion Week party? You think they needed some random dude stepping in? Nah, they handled their business. So, gentlemen, let's keep it 100 here. You ain't the referee. You ain't the coach, and you sure as hell ain't the player in this game. You're just a spectator. And spectators don't get to call shots. They watch the game unfold and enjoy the show. Remember, this ain't about being a coward or avoiding confrontation. It's about respecting boundaries and understanding that not every fight is your fight. You got enough battles of your own to fight without stepping into someone else's war zone. So don't step into another man's court. Let him play his game. Ever seen a soap opera? Yeah, arguing with a random woman can turn your life into one, and trust me, you ain't getting any Oscars for that. Now let's dive into the world of unnecessary drama. You know what I'm talking about. The kind of drama that turns a simple disagreement into a full-blown Broadway musical, replete with tears, accusations, and even the occasional flying shoe. Imagine, you're just minding your business, and then, bam! You're suddenly in the middle of a live-action version of The Real Housewives. 
and you're not even getting paid for it. Let's put it this way, arguing with a random woman can be like opening a Pandora's box of emotions. One minute you're just having a casual conversation and the next you're on a roller coaster of emotions hurtling through the air at 100 miles an hour. And believe me, it ain't no Six Flags ride. You might find yourself embroiled in a debate about why you don't like the color pink or why you think pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. Suddenly you're being accused of hating all things feminine or having no taste in food. It's like being on trial for crimes you didn't even know were crimes. And here's the kicker, you can't win. You might think you're Muhammad Ali floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee, but let me tell you, brother, you're more like a moth drawn to a flame. You're just setting yourself up for a knockout punch. So here's a word to the wise, don't engage. It's like stepping into a minefield blindfolded. You never know when you're going to step on a mine and find yourself in the middle of the World War III. And trust me, no one wants to be at ground zero when that happens. And remember, it's not about being right. It's about avoiding unnecessary drama. So even if you think you can win, ask yourself if it's really worth it, because sometimes the cost of victory is just too high. So unless you want your life to turn into a low budget drama series, avoid arguing with random women. You know the saying, silence is golden? Yeah, it's double platinum when it comes to arguing with random women. Now you might be wondering, why is silence such a heavy hitter in this game? Well, let me break it down for you. You see, silence is like the ultimate Swiss army knife. It's got a tool for every situation. It can be a shield, a weapon, or even a lifeboat in the tumultuous sea of pointless arguments. Imagine you're a boxer in the ring. The bell rings and the opponent starts throwing punches left and right. What do you do? You don't just stand there and take the hits, right? You bob and weave, you duck and dodge. That's what silence is. It's your footwork, your defense. It keeps you on your feet when the verbal blows start to rain down. And let's not forget, silence can also be your best offense. Ever seen a person argue with themselves? It's like watching a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. It's funny, it's sad, and it's a clear victory for the silent party. But here's the real kicker. Silence isn't just about avoiding conflict, it's about maintaining your peace. It's like holding on to a winning lottery ticket. You wouldn't just throw it away, would you? No, you'd protect it, cherish it, because you know its value. So the next time you find yourself in a pointless argument, remember, silence is more than just a lack of noise. It's a strategy, a tool, a weapon. It's your ticket out of the chaos and into a world of calm and tranquility. And remember, it's not about being weak or submissive. It's about being wise. It's about choosing your battles and knowing when to walk away. Because sometimes the bravest thing you can do is to say nothing at all. Remember, silence ain't just golden, it's a freaking jackpot. Hold on to it.